ladies and gentlemen, there are a series of bomb threats being called in to state capitals around the country. This is Michigan. Just before I got on this video, they got a bomb threat like 51 minutes ago and they just evacuated the building. So let's get into it. It's happening all today. So state capitals shut down after at least eight bomb threats received Wednesday. This is according to officials. Mm -mm -mm. In Mississippi, the second day of legislation at the Jackson Capitol was shut down due to bomb threats. And this is according to Mississippi Today. It's likely nothing but we are going through our normal protocols, said Pub uh, Public Safety Commission, Sean Tendall. Interests have been closed, staff turned away, streets are blocked off, explosive detecting dogs uh, are searching through the building. Same thing happened in Kentucky. The state secretary office said the threat reported the Lexington Herald leader. All right. So they had a threat. So Kentucky Secretary of State Michael Adams spokesperson explained that the threat was sent out to multiple secretaries of, of the state across the country. They said it went out in mass emails, according to Adam's spokesperson, Michonne Lindstrom. The email sent to Adam's office doesn't mention specific secretaries, but it did directly uh, state that bombs were placed in state capitals. Secretary of States in most states are the chief election officials. Another threat was in Georgia. This is according to Gabriel Sterling, the COO for Secretary of State. Brad Raffensperger revealed that on arrival to work, their office received a threat, which it shut down while it was investigated. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reporter, Greg Bluestein, was sent an email about the incident, which gave the all clear after a search was conducted. Montana also reported a bomb threat. Helena Independent Record, Tom Bridge tweeted, he explained that the Montana Highway Patrol had surrounded the building and staff was evacuated and taken refuge from the cold and neighboring state buildings. They said it's 31 degrees right now in Helena, Montana. The Connecticut capitalist WFSB similar reported a bomb threat there. So they did the same thing in Connecticut. They went through all the evacuation procedures and investigating and making sure it's all clear. So these emails went out to state capitals all across the country, y'all. And just before I came on this video, like I said before, Michigan got a bomb threat and they were in the process of evacuating. So this is crazy, y'all. So what is this being done near the anniversary of January 6th, you know? So it looks like this was very well planned and orchestrated for them to send these out to every state capital like that. You know, I'm sure it's going to be more reports uh, across the country of getting these bomb threats. Some of these people really need to get a job or do something with their lives for real. And that's what January 6th also showed us. Some of these people need to get involved in their jobs and get a life for real. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. It just goes to show you how far gone America really truly is. You know, from the inception of this country all the way to now, the violence just never ends. 
it is just back to back to back to back violence or threats of violence. And that's, that's all life is in America. We haven't seen it any other way. That's all these people do is perpetuate violence all around the damn clock. We can't get a moment's peace. And it's going to probably be like this through most of 2024. We're just starting their new year because, you know, our new year don't start until spring. And look at how it's starting out, y'all. Look at how it's starting out. But y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. If there's any more, um, you know, updates on this, I'll do another video. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.